Hello and welcome to the part 1 video of the lesson, The Skeletal System. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. By the end of this video, you will be able to describe the skeletal system, understand why bones are living structures, state the number of bones in the human body, name the largest and smallest bone in the human body, differentiate between axial and appendicular skeleton, Identify and label the bones in the skeletal system and their functions. The skeletal system is one of the 11 organ systems in the human body. An organ system is a group of interrelated organs which work together to perform a common function. For example, the respiratory system consists of the nose, the windpipe and the lungs which work together to perform the function of respiration. The circulatory system consists of the heart and a network of blood vessels which distribute oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. The digestive system consists of the mouth, the food pipe, the stomach, the small and large intestine, the anus and other accessory organs which perform the function of ingestion, digestion and absorption of food. The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord and a network of nerves which perform the function of coordinating the functions of all the other organ systems. The muscular system works closely with the skeletal system to enable voluntary and involuntary movements of the body. The skeletal system performs a function of providing framework and support to the body and also protects vital internal organs within the body. How do we know what dinosaurs look like? We know what dinosaurs look like because we have found these. They are fossilized skeletons. Hence we know that a Tyrannosaurus rex would look like this. In the previous lesson on animal adaptations, you have learned that the entire animal kingdom may be divided into two groups, the vertebrates and the invertebrates, based on the presence or absence of a backbone. A backbone in vertebrates is a supportive internal skeleton. The presence of the backbone has allowed the vertebrates to develop into a variety of shapes and sizes. The smaller invertebrates are protected by a hard exterior exoskeleton, like in the case of oysters, crabs, snails, etc. This is an image of a X-ray of a lower leg of an individual. It can be seen that a bone is broken here. When a bone breaks, it is called a fracture. Doctors fix a fracture by aligning the broken bones correctly and then putting a hard cast around the affected part. They do this so that the bones may heal and repair themselves. Bones are the structural units of the skeletal system. The fact that they can repair themselves indicates that they are living structures. As you grow, your bones grow and hence you gain height and outgrow your clothes and shoes. The skeletal system also facilitates movement by working closely with the muscular system. Fun fact, an adult human has 206 bones, whereas an infant has more than 300 bones. This is because as a baby grows, Many of its bones fuse together within the first two years of life and we end up with just 206 bones. The maximum number of bones in the human body are found in the region of the hands and the feet. Each hand has 27 bones and each foot has 26 bones. Hence, the hands have a total of 54 bones and the feet have a total of 52 bones, which is the highest in any part of the human body. Bones of the human skeleton are of varying sizes and shapes. The bones of the arms and legs are long and rod-like structures. The bones in the wrist and the ankles are small, and the bones of the pelvic girdles and the shoulder girdles are flat. 
The backbone is made up of many irregularly shaped bones which are also ring-like structures called vertebrae. And the skull is made up of flat bones which are fused together to form a round structure. The smallest bone in the human body is a bone in the inner ear called the stapes or the stirrup. The longest bone in the human body is the femur or the thigh bone. And the hardest bone in the human body is the lower jaw or the mandible. The skeletal system may be divided into two parts. The axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The parts which lie along the central axis of the skeleton and are not found in pairs make the axial skeleton. The parts which are seen in pairs and are attached to the backbone on either side are called the appendicular skeleton. Thus, the skull, the ribcage and the vertebral column or the spine make the axial skeleton and the pectoral or shoulder girdles and the upper limbs or arms and the hip or pelvic girdles and the lower limbs or legs make the appendicular skeleton. The skull. The skull protects the brain, eyes, ears and nose. The round part of the skull which encases the brain is called as the cranium. The cranium is made up of eight bones which are fused together at immovable joints called sutures. The part of the skull which makes up the face also consists of the lower jaw or the mandible and it is made up of 14 bones. The mandible is the hardest bone in the human body. Thus, the human skull is made up of 22 bones. Additionally, each ear has three tiny ear bones, of which the stapes or the stirrup is the smallest bone in the human body and is just 2.8 millimeters long. There is also a bone in the throat, the rib cage or the chest. The rib cage or the chest protects the heart and the lungs by encasing them in a cage-like structure. The rib cage is made up of a single breastbone or sternum in the center and 12 pairs of ribs. The first 10 pairs of ribs are attached to the vertebral column or the spine at the back and to the sternum at the front. The last two pairs of ribs are only attached to the vertebral column and hence are called floating ribs. Thus, the ribcage is made up of a total of 25 bones. The backbone, vertebral column or spine. The backbone is attached to the skull and is a long bony structure which provides support for the body and protects the spinal cord. The spinal cord is an important part of the nervous system. The backbone is made up of 33 irregularly shaped ring-like bones called vertebrae. The vertebrae are stacked on each other with the support of intervertebral discs in between them. This structure gives us the flexibility to bend, stretch or twist with ease. Now let us learn about the parts of the appendicular skeleton. The arms or the upper limbs and the shoulder girdle. The shoulder girdles join the upper limbs to the spine. Each shoulder girdle has a collarbone or the clavicle that is attached to a shoulder blade or scapula at the back. A single bone called the humerus supports the upper arm. Two bones are present in the lower arm called the ulna and the radius of which the ulna is the thicker and stronger bone. The hands are made up of eight wrist bones or carpals, five palm bones or metacarpals, and 14 finger bones or phalanges. This makes a total of 27 bones in a hand alone. The lower limbs and the hip girdles or pelvic girdles are the other parts of the appendicular skeleton. The pelvic girdles join the lower limbs or legs to the spine. 
Each girdle is made up of three bones which are fused together. The upper leg or the thigh is supported by the longest bone in the human body, which is the femur. The lower legs are made up of two bones, the tibia or the shin bone and the fibula or the calf bone. The joint where the femur meets the tibia is called the knee and it is protected by a round shaped bone called the patella. Each foot is made up of seven ankle bones or tarsals, five metatarsal bones which connect between the ankles and the toes and 14 toe bones or phalanges which makes up a total of 26 bones in a foot alone. Now let us review what we have learnt in this video. The skeletal system is an organ system made up of bones. Bones are living structures which perform bodily functions. The human skeleton is made up of 206 bones and it may be divided into the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of 32 skull bones, 25 rib cage bones, and 33 vertebrae which make the backbone. The appendicular skeleton consists of 64 bones which make the upper limbs and the shoulder girdle and 62 bones which make the lower limbs and the hip or pelvic girdle. Now let us review the names of the bones we have just learned. This is the cranium, the ribs, the vertebrae, the clavicle or the collarbone, the scapula or the shoulder blade, the humerus, the radius, ulna, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges, pelvis, femur, patella, tibia, fibula, tarsals and metatarsals. Were you able to complete this exercise? If not, go back and review. I'll see you again with the part 2 video for the lesson The Skeletal and Muscular System. Until then, goodbye and keep learning.